Elsewhere this morning, after days of pressure from some cabinet ministers to lift the 1% public sector pay cap, Philip Hammond has said the government has to hold its nerve. Last night, the Chancellor said the government would continue to assess the balance between being fair to public servants and the taxpayers who fund their wages. Our political correspondent Chris Mason joins us now from Westminster. I mean, it is extraordinary sort of having this sort of semi-open discussion, isn't it? What's he said, the Chancellor? Yeah, it's almost as if the cabinet table has been set up in the in the garden of Downing Street or in the street outside Parliament, and anyone walking past can kind of hear what cabinet ministers have had to say. I lost out, of, lost, uh, ran out of fingers on one hand yesterday trying to count the number of cabinet ministers who had publicly said that perhaps it was time to say bye-bye to that 1% public sector uh, pay cap. So perhaps we shouldn't be that surprised that the Chancellor, Philip Hammond, quite late last night in a speech uh, in uh, London to uh, business leaders, uh, was uh, pretty aggrieved in his language, saying it was time for a grown-up debate about public sector pay, saying that there had to be a balance struck uh, between properly rewarding public servants uh, and ensuring that it was fair uh, for those who paid for them, uh, in other words, other uh, taxpayers. So effectively, the, the Chancellor is saying, hang on a minute, there might be this clamour for change, he's not saying that there won't be a change, but he's not shifting the policy yet. So in other words, we're going to have to wait for these individual pay review bodies uh, to make their recommendations and then see uh, what the government does. The teachers and the police officers pay review bodies, their decisions coming in the next few weeks, but for some, like nurses who reached a decision with their pay review body just a couple of months ago, they are in for a rather a long wait. So will there be a big pay rise for five million public sector workers? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, you had me there with the pause, I tell you what, and I imagine lots of people watching. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. We've got a lot of time for Chris Mason's tie Yeah, tie. Today. We think that could be, what do you think, tie of the... Tie of the day, that. So Chris. far. So we've only had two on the programme so far, but that's Three. tie of the day so far. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Now, uh, elsewhere this morning, a new report warns that...